Hi, my name is Nick. Um, I'm doing a video response to Winter's SEO's recent video about um, depression, Warhammer 40,000, anxiety, and gaming. Um, I would like to make it perfectly clear at the onset that I'm not doing this in an effort to grandstand to try and uh, get subscribers or views or anything like that. In fact, I only have three other videos, four other videos on my channel that I started about a month and a half ago. I haven't added anything to it. I'm going to be removing those videos from viewing. Um, this is going to be the only video that will be up until I basically feel motivated enough to put up something new. Um, like I said in my initial introductory video, I do this, I, I want to do this for fun. This isn't anything serious. Um, but Winter's SEO is a creator, puts out a lot of content, um, for battle reports primarily for Warhammer 40,000. Uh, I love that game. I've been playing it since I was like 13 years old, way back in second edition in the nineties. Um, it's a fantastic game. It's a very expensive game, but I've played it for so long, I'm never not going to play it. Um, Mr. Winters put out a video about five hours ago, according to the timestamp, um, that about his struggles with depression and anxiety and how gaming, specifically Warhammer 40,000, has helped him with his struggles. And it really resonates deeply with me uh, for multiple reasons. First and foremost, uh, because obviously it was difficult for him to film. Uh, I'm going to try. I'm still learning all of this stuff. I'm going to try and link the description to the, the link, the video in the description. Um, but uh, this is a video that I think everybody should see within the mental health community in general, but in the gaming community as well. Um, he genuinely has issues and gaming has genuinely given him a respite from those issues. Um, now, I, I can identify personally with a lot of what he's going through. Um, I have had, from a young age, I, I myself have struggled with depression and, and anxiety. I've had my highs and I've had my lows. Um, and I'm not talking highs and lows in the normal sense. Um, lows are not supposed to last weeks or months on end. Um, and... Uh, I understand what he's struggling with now. I've been lucky in the fact that I have a, I have a family that loves me and supports me in whatever I do, helps me through a lot. I, I've been lucky to have built a community around me of friends who I know I can count on. Um, the, the, I have a lifelong best friend who I know I can rely on uh, for anything. I've, over the past couple of years, I've been lucky enough to meet individuals who have greatly enhanced my life. Um, some have been in areas that I never expected. Um, I'm a Girl Scout leader, and uh, the friends I've made there are amazing. Um, you can find these friends, these, this community pretty much anywhere. I've concluded a deal where I purchased a large army and the gentleman that I purchased it from has become a dear friend of mine. Um, I, I am very thankful for the help that uh, my personal community has given me, uh, especially given these times we're in now. I am unemployed. Uh, that's a lot of stress, and my friends and family have been there for me. Um, Mr. Winters, his 
friends and family have been there for him as well. Um, and so has the game, Warhammer 40,000, to give him that, again, that, that respite uh, to help him through. Um, and I think it underscores, it accentuates something that is in the community. Um, the, the anxieties that, that everyone has, and I'm making a generalization. I'm not saying for sure that this is the way gaming is in general. It strikes me that in the gaming community, there seems to be a larger proportionate group of people that struggle with depression, anxiety, and other issues. And uh, it's important to know that we're not alone. Um, my issues with depression and anxiety has cost me a lot in my life. Um, Winters speaks about how he was at a, uh, a, uh, a meeting at work and where he was in the middle of doing a presentation and he just froze. He, he couldn't say anything. Uh, he describes how his managers and the managers above them and the managers above them were all there. And in his mind, he's saying, just say words, just, just talk, say something, you can do this. But he physically couldn't. Um, I know exactly what that's like. That uh, um, I went to school for music. I'm actually an opera singer. I can sing in Italian, Latin, French, German. It's completely useless. I have no marketable skills in real life. But um, the anxiety and the stress and the depression had gotten to me at that time when I was in college to, at, to such a level that it exhibited in stage fright, which I know seems kind of silly. Um, but no matter how much studying I could do, I would walk out on stage and everyone's looking at me, everyone's watching me, and then I, I can't do it. I, I it can't come out. So um, I heartfully understand what Winters is currently going through. I kind of want him, I, 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 I wish, you know, fantasy would be that he does see this video and he understands that he is not alone. Um, no man is an island, although a couple of dead ones lashed together make a pretty serviceable canoe. Um, but we're, none of us are alone. And I think that's really, really, really important, especially given these times, to understand. We play these games... Um, and it doesn't matter what game it is. It doesn't have to be miniature war gaming. It can be board gaming. It can be role playing, Dungeons and Dragons, Magic the Gathering, Pokemon, video games. It doesn't matter what you play. We're playing these games with other like minded individuals. We might play weekly, bi weekly, monthly, whatever your frequency is. You see these people relatively regularly. Um, and I think it's important that we as a gaming community look out for one another. Uh, just in like you would any anybody else. We know that we have these problems. We know that we struggle with them. We have stereotypes. The 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 um, unwashed gamer, the, the person that comes in the game store and and, and smells and is you know, uh, that's a sign of depression. That's a, that's a sign that that person has a problem. And rather than behind closed doors uh, uh, snicker about it and say oh that that person just he, he had he's socially inept and and he doesn't you know he doesn't talk as eloquently as everybody else or when he tries to he comes across as overbearing and and whatever um that's a sign you know that that, that can be construed as a sign of of issues of anxiety issues and we really should, as a community, help each other. It's it's a, it's a it's it's a human a humane thing to do. Um, it, it, nobody's alone, and sometimes just being asked, "How are you?" 
because I play this these games with uh, people every week. I might not know them on a personal level, but you can tell when somebody's having a bad day. I, I don't even play Magic the Gathering, but if I go every Friday night for Friday Night Magic and I see the same group of 10, 15 people, however many you have, you're going to be able to read the body language of people. You're going to know when that guy comes in with a chip on his shoulder. It's normal. It's how we as human beings exist. And just asking, how, how you doing? That one little thing, I can say from personal experience, that one little thing is huge. Because it doesn't matter that I, you ask me how I'm doing, and I, I just say, I'm fine. It doesn't matter that I'm not going to talk to you. It matters that you took time out of your personal enjoyment, out of your game, to genuinely ask how I'm doing. And I'm not talking about the how you doing, like you see somebody on the street, oh, hey, how you doing? No, I'm talking about you sit down across from the game, you shake hands or however you start your game, and you say, so, you know, I've had a good week. I hope you have too. Um, you know, how, how's, how's everything going with you? Is, is, how's life? And you might not get an answer, but maybe you will. And maybe you'll get more. Maybe you'll get that community, those friends um, that I spoke of earlier. That's how you build that network to help you through these issues. Um, if you have those issues. If you don't, we as a community should police ourselves. We should watch ourselves and help each other as a community. And it's, it's a social community. No matter how antisocial we think we are, we are social, but um, I, I just think it's important that we reach out to each other, that we are mutually supportive of each other, and uh, I, I would like to try and get this message out. I'm, I'm going to post it, share it on Facebook and whatnot. Uh, the original message, not my message, the original message from Winter's SEO, uh, because I really think it's, I, I think it's important. And I, I think in the stressors that we have these days, it's really important that, that we continue, the, that, that we carry it forward. Um, I would like to say in the fantasy that uh, Mr. Winters does see this video, um, before I close it, I would like to say that uh, Mr. Winters, you don't know me, uh, you never will. I'm in the United States, you're in Great Britain. Um, I'll never meet you, I'm sure. But uh, your content has directly affected my life in a positive manner. Um, a couple of years ago when my father passed away, that was an extremely stressful time. And I, I remember distinctly falling asleep to one of your battle reports because all of the stresses that I had that week, um, that night, the night before his burial, um, I couldn't sleep. And I surfed YouTube because that's what I do. That's one of my, uh, my things is, uh, and I found your battle report. And I only got like five minutes into it and I crashed. And it, it was, it definitely was because I felt comfortable enough. I felt it was okay because you're still there playing games. Um, so I know that's a small thing and it's, it's, it's inconsequential, but uh, you definitely, you have been, you have affected more people than you realize. And I, I think you're just starting to come to realize the number of people that you've affected. Um, the Hebrews, it's in Schindler's List, the whole subject of Schindler's List basically is uh, uh, he who saves one life saves the world entire. Um, you know, you, you are a universe onto your own and we are all part of that universe. 
and we care for you. Um, I genuinely can say that, you know, you don't know me, I don't know you, but if I ever got an email or notification or message from Winter's SEO, I would listen purely because you were there for me. Uh, you have more friends than you realize. So thank you for everything you do. And please realize you are not alone. I think you know that, but um, you are not alone. We are legion. So, all right. I've rambled enough. I doubt anybody will watch all of this, but at least I've said my bit and I don't know. We'll see what happens. Thank you for your time and uh, enjoy your day.